Today I'm going to teach you how to make a tapper game. So tappers, or incremental games, are strategy games where you have to tap or swipe something constantly to accumulate money or points. And then you use that money to buy items that can then make your taps or swiping worth more. And this doesn't ever end. You just keep tapping and you get more money, and it's, that's the point of the game. So games like Cow Tapper by Besties Coles NZ, or Rip Off Paper by Funky63, or Make It Rain by Maximo, and many other games are all great examples. So let's dive in. So you're in your editor, and the first thing you want to do is drag out the thing you want to tap. So I'm going to go to this plus button, and I'm going to drag out a text object because I want to use an emoji. And then you can find the emoji button to the left of your space bar. So now pick the thing you want to tap, and remember you can pick anything you want. And I'm going to pick uh, lemon. All right, done. And it's pretty small, so the first thing I want to do is make it bigger. So add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, which means when the project starts, go to looks and sounds and drag out a set size block. So right now it's at 100%. I want it to be five times bigger, so I'm going to make it 500%. Press check, and let's see if it works. Cool. All right, it's a big lemon. Let's go back to edit, and let's exit out of here by tapping outside of the rule. Then let's add a new rule. So when I tap the lemon, I want it to get a little bigger and a little smaller, just to see that I've tapped it. So pick when character is tapped, and go back to that green bar, looks and sounds, and drag out that same block again. Set size. So when the lemon is tapped, I want it to be even bigger than 500. I want it to be a little bit bigger. I want it to be like 520. And then I want to drag out one more set size and make that 500 again. All right, let's see what that looks like. Cool. It looks like it's being tapped. It's a little bigger each time. Um, let's go back to edit. So let's exit out of this rule. So now I want a number to appear above the thing I'm tapping that increases by one every time I tap the thing. So let's go to the objects menu and drag out a text object. And you can either call this points or lemons or whatever your tapping thing is, or you call it dollar sign. Um, I'm gonna call mine dollar sign because I'm gonna use these points to buy items later. Press done. and then add a new rule. So the first rule is that I always want to see it display a value that we're going to also call dollar sign. So when the play button is tapped, go all the way down to control flow and pull out a repeat forever block. And then go to looks and sounds and find set text and drag that inside the repeat forever. I want to set it to a value, so go to values to the right of calculator. Then tap on this gray arrow next to your item until you're in the iPad's values. And let's add a new value. So tap plus new value down here. And you can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine dollar sign. So whatever you call this, make sure it makes sense to you. This is the thing that gets bigger as you tap. So press done. And then drag that in here. Cool. So let's see what it looks like right now zero because we haven't done anything with this value yet and by default all values equal zero at first so go back to edit and let's exit out of this rule and let's add a new rule go to more and pick when blank is tapped and we want to pick when the thing you tap is tapped so for me it's a lemon for you it could be anything press check so when the lemon is tapped i want to increase the value dollar sign by one so go to values and pull out increase value and go to wherever your dollar value is and that's it increase this dollar by one and since it's always showing this value we should see that so press play cool alright we're on our way now go back to edit okay so in my game I want to have an item that I can buy that costs fifty dollars so then when I get it it's gonna allow me to have my taps be worth two dollars instead of one. So let's make that object. So go to your objects menu, drag out a text object, and I'm gonna call mine this to indicate that you're getting one more dollar for your tap. And then I'm gonna go back to text, and I'm gonna say what the price of this is. So hyphen, fifty dollars. So it costs fifty dollars to get this, 
and once you get it, your taps are worth one more than they used to be. So let's add a new rule to it. So when I tap on this, it's going to check if I have $50 to spare, then it's going to take those $50 away from me, and then it's going to give me one more dollar per tap after that. So let's write that. So add a new rule. When this thing is tapped, so when the character is tapped, first let's check, which you're going to control flow to find. Drag out check once if, and then we want to check if it has at least $50. So the way to do that is to check bigger than, then go to your values and find your dollar value. And then go to the second bubble, tap on the second bubble, and check if your money is bigger than 49. Press check. Cool, so we've checked if we have enough money to buy this. Then go to values and drag out increase value and put it inside there. And pick your dollar sign and increase it by negative 50. So you're actually decreasing it. Press check. And then, so let's add another increase value, put it under there, and we have to create a new value for this. So add new value, and we're gonna call it dollars per tap. So how many dollars do you get for every tap that you tap onto this lemon? Press check. So drag that in there, and we're gonna increase it by one. So what is this value? Well, I'll show you in a second. So let's get out of here. Let's go to this dollar object, and go to the when lemon is tapped rule. So we've been increasing the value dollar by one, but we want this number to change now. So we actually have to turn this into a value. So tap on it, and go to values, and find the per tap value. Put that in there, and press check. All right, so let's see what happens. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Do you know what it is? Every value starts out as zero, and right now we're increasing this number by per tap, which is zero. Once we get this, we, it turns into one, but we actually want this to start as one so that when we tap this, it becomes two. So let's go back to edit and get out of here. And let's go to the lemon and let's add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, let's set the value, go to values, go to set value, drag it out, and then find your per tap value and set it to one. This way we're making a dollar per tap in the beginning as opposed to zero dollars per tap. Now let's see what happens. All right, I start with one. Cool, so every tap I'm getting a dollar. Great. And if I can get enough, I might be able to purchase that item over there. Cool, okay, so now it's gonna cost me $50 to tap this, but it'll be worth it. Let's find out. Boom, all right, so now I'm back down to $3. But every time I tap, I'm getting $2. Okay, and look how much faster it was to get here. So if I tap it again, now I'm making three dollars every tap. So you can now start adding more objects that cost more money that do more for your per tap. You can also make objects that start adding dollars without you even needing to tap. So there are a lot of really cool ways you can make this a strategy game where people have to really think about how to most quickly accumulate money or lemons or whatever your object is. Cool, so now you are ready to make a tapper game and um, you know, there are rumors on the forum that someone's going to make Tap Titans soon. I think there are a lot of really cool directions you could take this in, and I can't wait to see all of them. So, good luck. See you next time.